Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's grade six practice problem review is in unit one, lesson two, finding area by decomposing and rearranging. Let's create shapes and find their areas. In question one, the diagonal of a rectangle is shown. One, decompose the rectangle along the diagonal and recompose the two pieces to make a different shape. Well, what if I just take this triangle piece here? I'm going to draw it one, two, three across, and two down, and then connect. To make a different shape, what if I take this one that is also, if you notice here, two down and three across? What if I go three across, and we already have the two down, and connect it there. That's one possibility. Or, if we start again with our three across and two down, we could just use the two down and come three across this way and draw in like a parallelogram. And there are a lot of different options. But when we look at how does the area of this new shape compare to the area of the original rectangle, the areas are the same. So the areas are all the same. And the reason why, the new figures are all made of copies of the, hmm, out of room, what do I do? Out of the original two triangles. Let's move on to question two. Priya decomposed a square into 16 smaller equal sized squares and then cut out four of the small squares and attached them around the outside of original square to make a new figure. How does the area of her new figure compare with that of the original figure? We have a multiple choice question here. So either A, the area of the new figure is greater, B, the two figures have the same area. C, the area of the original square is greater. Or D, we don't know because neither the side length nor the area of the original square is known. Well, that's not it. It's going to be B. The figures, two figures have exactly the same area. You can literally count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It has an area of 16 square units. What about the next one? One, two, three, four. That's hard to see. Let me change that color. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12. And then the four that got moved. 13, 14, 15, 16. They both have an area of 16 square units. Let's continue on to question three. The area of the square is one square unit. Two small triangles can be put together to make a square or to make a medium triangle. Which figure also has an area of one and a half units? One and a half square units, I'm sorry. Select all that apply. So some different options here. Um, two smalls equal one square unit. So that would then mean that three smalls equals one and a half square units. So if we can find 
uh, shapes that have three small triangles, those will be equivalent to one and a half square units. Well, which ones are that? A looks like we do have three small, so A counts. So does B. C only has two figures, and we'll come back to that. D has two smalls and one square. Well, that would be two units, so that's not it. Let's look at C. We know that two smalls can be put together to make a square or make a medium triangle. And so if I kind of draw this line here, I all of a sudden have one, two from the medium triangle. That's too small. And then a third there. So there's C. So our solution here is A, B, and C. Not sure where figure E is there, but no. Yeah, well. Four, the length of a rectangular, or I'm sorry, the area of a rectangular plate. <laughs> oh, the area of a rectangular playground is 78 square meters. If the length of the playground is 13 meters, what is its width? Well, I'm going to draw a rectangle. Let's just draw and pick a side here that's 13 meters. And I don't know the length of that side. Well, normally, when I find area, I multiply the two sides together, 13 times whatever that side is, and that gets my area, in this case, of 78. So we're asking ourselves, 13 times what is 78? Well, if I took 78 and divided it by 13, I would find out the length of that missing side which is six. So six meters is that missing side. Six meters is my width, because six times 13 is 78. And our last question here, a student said, we can't find the area of the shaded region because the shape has too many, or has many different measurements instead of just a length and a width that we can multiply. Explain why the student's statement about area is incorrect. Well, there is no one formula for this object, right? I mean, there's not an area formula for this crazy thing. But what if we broke it down? I could draw a line across here. And I could draw a line across here to have three rectangles. And, you know, we know that this first rectangle is 35 by 10. We could know that this rectangle here is 10 by, well, 15, well, actually the whole thing, as I'm looking at this, is 60. So that whole length there is 60. And then this length up and down here is 10. If the whole length is 60, as we talked about previously, and this piece of it here is 15, up until this point, if I were to take 60 minus 15, I would get 45 for this part on the right. Well, if you know the length and the width of the three rectangles, 35 times 10 is 350, 10 times 60 is 600, and 10 times 45 is 450. And then I could add those up and get 1,400 square units. Well, solving it is certainly one way of proving why this student statement about area is incorrect. You could also write a statement about, well, you can just break this down into three rectangles or more and find the area of the individual rectangles. Well, that is it for this grade six, unit one, lesson two, practice problems review. Good luck.